Good afternoon students. Let's start with the brief introduction of principles of management. These principles were given by Henry Fuel, who is known as father of principle of management. Fuel started his career as a junior engineer in coal mine company and then became its general manager. Being a commerce student, everyone knows the meaning of management. Management means getting things done through other. And Fuel has suggested 14 principles of management to do this task efficiently. These principles suggested by Fuel are as follow. First one is division of work. Fuel said total work of organization should be divided into smaller parts and these parts should be assigned to employees on their skill set. Example person who is good at sales should be given sales job. Fuel ne kya siga ki work nu chote chote parts de vich divide kar do. ते ए जेड़ा वर्क है वो एम्प्लॉइज नु दे दो उना दी स्किल्स दे अकॉर्डिंगली जदो ओ बार बार ओही काम करूंगे ता ओदे नाल उना दे विच स्पेशलाइजेशन आ जाएगी डिवीजन ऑफ वर्क लीड्स टू स्पेशलाइजेशन जदो स्पेशलाइजेशन आ जाएगी ता एदे नाल उना दी एफिशिएंसी इंक्रीज हो जाएगी जदो एफिशिएंसी इंक्रीज हो जाएगी ता ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दी प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी भी इंक्रीज हो जाएगी सो डिवीजन ऑफ वर्क लीड्स टू स्पेशलाइजेशन एंड स्पेशलाइजेशन लीड्स टू इंक्रीज दी एफिशिएंसी एंड एफिशिएंसी लीड्स टू दी प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेकंड पॉइंट इज पैरिटी ऑफ अथॉरिटी एंड रिस्पांसिबिलिटी पैरिटी मींस बैलेंसिंग फ्यूल सेड दैट देयर शुड बी बैलेंस बिटवीन अथॉरिटी एंड रिस्पांसिबिलिटी अथॉरिटी मींस पावर एंड रिस्पांसिबिलिटी मींस ड्यूटीज फ्यूल ने किया सीगा कि दोनों के बीच बैलेंस होना चाहिए अथॉरिटी एंड रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज जे अथॉरिटी ज्यादा हो जी की रिस्पांसिबिलिटी नालो देन देयर मे बी चांसेस दैट मैनेजर मे मिसयूज इट इफ रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ज्यादा हो जी की अथॉरिटी नालो देन दे माइट फील फ्रस्ट्रेटेड सो देयर शुड बी बैलेंस बिटवीन अथॉरिटी एंड रिस्पांसिबिलिटी थर्ड पॉइंट इज डिसिप्लिन डिसिप्लिन मींस एम्प्लॉइज मस्ट ओबे एंड रिस्पेक्ट द रूल्स दैट गवर्न्स द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस हेल्प्स एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू रन smoothly fourth point is unity of command according to this principles employee must have and receive order from one boss unity of command which fuel ne kya siga ki employee ik boss to hi order receive kare like first is m1 approach there is in first diagram S1, S2, and S3, all three subordinates have man one, uh, have one manager, that is M1. S1 gets order only from M1, and same is the case with S2 and S3. Here, the principle of unity of command is followed. Unity of command, but it is suggested that individual should receive order from one superior at a time. In second diagram, all the three subordinates. that is s1 s2 and s3 get their orders from two manager that is m1 and m2 s1 gets order from both m1 and m2 simultaneously same is the position of s2 and s3 here is uh, he is unable to stand as to which order is to be given priority both the manager would like that their orders to be given priority there is likely to be heart burning between two here the principle of unity of command is being violated so therefore this is a wrong approach and this one is right approach so manager should give order to one superior at a time next point is unity of direction unity of direction said that it means one head and one plan example all marketing activities such as advertising sale or promotion must be directed by only one manager next point is subordination of individual to journal interest the individuals should be given less importance while the journal interest should be given most importance in this principle fuel said that the individual interest should be given less importance and journal interest must be given more importance next point is remuneration fair remuneration to employees employee should be paid fair remuneration for the services rendered by them in this fuel said that equal work deserves equal pay next point is eighth centralization and decentralization in centralization the authority is concentrated in few hands in decentralization authority is distributed to all levels of management hence fuel said that 
there should be balance between centralization and decentralization fuel ne kya siga ki na proper centralization honi chahiye hai na proper decentralization there should be effective centralization and decentralization